Hi everybody! I'm going to show you how I make a video using Google Slides and Screencast Castomatic. I'm going to open up my Screencast-O-Matic, launch recorder. And while that's opening, I'm going to go ahead and open Groove Music. This is the music program that was already on the computer. And I made the music using GarageBand and I added the voice in GarageBand so that it's exactly perfect with the with the music. So now I need to add the the visual part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink the screen to fit the Google slide. Right, maybe go a little bit further in. And then I don't want narration because I'm going to have the sound and the voice with the music. If I was going to speak while I was videoing or sing, because I've done that before too, then I would want the narration on. And lately I've had to click that button twice in order for it to completely let me do that. So I would click it and I just use the default microphone. I suppose if you're more into it you could do something else, but I keep things simple if I possibly can and I'm happy enough with that results. So I don't want any sound. So I think I'm ready to go. Maybe just double check. January. Okay, so I'm going to have to push that all the way back. And I'm going to push record and it counts down. You can change that in the prefer preferences of Screencast-O-Matic if you want to. January Poison Rhythm Game. Play the poison rhythm game. So I'm going to just click through that is not the poison rhythm. and Stay be in silent. time with the Act music. The poison rhythm and do not echo it. The poison rhythm is. Oh. So I made a mistake. Very hot cocoa, snowflake, icicle. Ready, set, here you go. Okay, so I made a mistake. I'm not happy with that. So I have a couple of choices. One, I can stop it and I can trash it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and start over. And then I just start it again. I want to make sure that my music is back where it started. And I'll try not to talk while I'm doing this. January Poison Rhythm Game. So play the Poison Rhythm. It's already messed up because I didn't have it on the right slide. So I'm going to start it over and I'm going to edit, show you how to edit that out of the video. January Poison Rhythm Game. Play the poison rhythm game. Echo back every rhythm that is not the poison rhythm. Stay silent after the poison rhythm and do not echo it. The poison rhythm is January hot cocoa snowflake icicle. Ready, set, here you go. January cold snowflake icicle. January hot. Cocoa, cold, snowflake. Students will echo that back. January hot, cocoa, snowflake, icicle. Snowflake, cold, hot, cocoa, January. Icicle, hot cocoa, January cold. Icicle, hot cocoa, January cold. Cold, hot cocoa, cold, January. Icicle, hot cocoa, cold, January. Cold, cold, so I gotta cold, keep track in my head. Cold. January, 
snowflake icicle. Cold snowflake, hot cocoa January. January, cold, cold icicle. January, hot cocoa snowflake icicle. January snowflake, snowflake, snowflake. January cold, hot cocoa snowflake. Snowflake, hot cocoa, cold, icicle. January hot cocoa snowflake icicle. How'd you do? Thanks for playing. All right, so I finished up my video. So now I'm gonna click on it. And I'm gonna push pause. And I'm, I'm done with that portion of it. And so now I can ed edit the video, which is usually what I do, because there's usually something I just wanna double check it. Or in the case here, I wanted to clip out that very beginning part so I can show you how to do that. Otherwise, you could just save it and go on from there. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that so it's not interrupted. You can choose if you want the cursor to show or not. And so on this video, I don't want it to show. So I'm going to unclick that. And then here's the, here's the first part that I don't want to use. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that out to the beginning. So I'm going to just click that out and push OK. And then I like to listen to it. Um, if I really feel like I did a good job, in this case I won't take your guys' time up to listen to it again, um, I'll just double check the beginning, double check the end, and that way I know there isn't anything there. Play the poison rhythm game. Echo so that sounds okay. And then I'll just check the end and make sure that um, there's nothing there that I want to clip out. Okay, so I probably don't need the last little tiny bit here, so I'll cut that as well and I'll click that button. And it is now gone. So I've streamlined my video. It's everything I want. There's lots of tools in here that you can use. I am paying a dollar fifty, I think, a month for a year, so it's like eighteen dollars um, to be able to edit it. But for me, it's worth it because I'm making videos routinely for my classroom, and I really enjoy doing it. And I love, love, love teaching with them. So it's something I'm going to keep doing, and I really feel like it's a good investment for the eighteen dollars. Um, I've used the insert and I've used the volume button but for the most part I just copy and that's mostly the editing that I do you can use the free um, screencast-o-matic it does give you a water a water um, mark on your videos but if that doesn't bother you it's an easy way to see if it's what you want so I'm done and I'm gonna go ahead and save it I'm gonna put it in my Google Drive that's where I've been putting things and I'm gonna go ahead and give it um, January poison rhythm and this is Mr. Mora's class. They helped me put that together. And I just push publish. And you can click continue in the background if you want. And then when I go to use the video and insert it, 
um, in like a Google slide. So what I like to do is I like to put my videos at the top of my slideshow that I made so that way I can keep track of it for easy reference. And so it's probably not going to insert yet because it takes it a little while, but I'll just show you how I do it. So I insert video. It's not a YouTube, it's a Google Drive one. It's going to it's not going to be ready, so I can just put another one in there for you. So let's say that's the video that I want. I select it. And then I can play with the format. So it'll play when I click on it. Automatically, manual. And then sometimes I can adjust the time I want a video to go where it wants it to start, where I want it to end. Because sometimes I'll break a song down. Maybe I just want to teach the kids the first verse and not the whole thing. So that's when I would just isolate what I want. So um, that's how I make a video using Screencast-O-Matic and Google Slides. I hope it was helpful.